Give the center foci, vertices, and the asymptotes of the hyperbola with a given equation. Sketch the graph uh, and the auxiliary rectangle. Then include these points and lines. For this video, we're going to sketch the graph of the hyperbola with the equation quantity y minus 6 squared over 64 minus x minus 8 squared over 36 equals 1. <clears throat> Excuse me. For this video, sige, simulan natin um, by... Uh, looking sa ano yung axis ng hyperbola natin. So, for this case, ang nung inaaral ko to, kung ka na kanina yung minus, hindi siya. Well, anyway, kasi yun lang yung plus. So, for this case, na kay y yung positive. So, hindi si x, na kay y. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating axis ay vertical. So, which means, ang itsura ng graph natin ay pag ganito. Sorry. Uh, the x and y axis. So, pag ganyan siya. Pag ganyan yung ating hyperbola. So, let's look for the values of a and b. Remember the general, uh, sorry, the standard equation of a hyperbola na vertical yung axis. We have um, y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. So, for this case, uh, by comparing this sa ating equation, we will know that the center is at hk. So, 8, 6. So, answer natin ay nasa 8, 6. And then, uh, the values, the value, the values of a and b are, for a, look at this one, a squared is 64, therefore a is equal to 8. And B is equal to square root of 36. We have 6. Para mo ko yung value ng C, we know that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Huwag kayo makonfuse ha, kasi sa ellipse, mas malaki si A. Sa kaya hyperbola, mas malaki si C. Si A, yung distance from center to one of the vertices. Si C, ay focal distance. Kay hyperbola, mas mahaba si focal distance kesa kay A. So, let's compute for C. A squared is 8 squared, 64, plus B squared, 6 squared, that's 36. So, you have C squared is equal to 100. Sorry, therefore, C is equal to plus or minus 10, but we will just get to 100. Kasi, distance yung pinag-usapan natin. So, kailangan positive siya. So, this is 10. So, C is equal to 10. So, the values of A, B, and C. Katulad ng ibang video na, na ginawa ko, uh, hindi ko sinasuggest na sa uluhin yung formula ng pagkuha ng mga importanting points for any conic section. Uh, I suggest i-graph nyo yung hyperbola. For this case, hyper, hy, uh, hyperbola siya. And then, using the graph or the using your graph, doon mo malalaman, hanapin mo na lang kung nasaan yung center, yung foci, tsaka yung vertices. Okay. Uh, let's get a graph here. Yan. So, may grid line lang para mas madaling mag-graph. Anyway, kung wala, wag na lang siguro. Sige. Let's sketch the graph. Sorry. Oh! I want, I want a straight line. I think that will work. Okay. So for this case, this is your y. And this is your x. Yung center mo nasa 8, 6. So let's count. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here is 8 and then 6. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 6. So therefore, the center is here. Okay, here's your center. Ngayon, alam natin yung ang axis ng ating hyperbola ay vertical. So makukuha natin yung vertices at location ng foci sa taas nitong C at sa baba. So, we will count A units upward para makuha si 
C. Ah, sorry, C. One of the vert- vertex vertices, and then eight units downward para makuha naman yung pangalawang um, location ng uh, vertex. And then, 10 units up and down also para makuha mo yung location naman ng foci. Medyo maliit yung graph natin. Uh, brain ko lang to. There is this para madagdagan ko yung line. Madagdagan ko to. Saan nga to? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. So, let's count. Um, 8 units upward. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ay, sorry, dito. Problem, saan na to? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 ba? Plus 8? 14 lang. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are dito. Let's count what this is. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Pag ang binilang ko, no? So, 14 yan. O, syempre, 6 plus 8, 14, di ba? So, nandiyan yung isa mo. Uh, this is your vertex 1. Bab- count naman tayo pababa. So, mag-start tayo kayo 6. And then, 8 units downwards. So, 6 to. So, siguro negative 2 yan, no? Oh, negative 2. 6, 7, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, negative 2. So, dito. Okay, so, our second vertex. Para mas malawak dito sa kabila. Uh, uh, i- layo-layo na lang ako dito. So, this is negative 2. So, dito. Vertex 2. Now, let's have 6 units to the left and right. So, burin ko lang din to para makapagdagdag tayo ng numbers. Green. Okay, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Six units. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Ito ay uh, 14. Tama ba? 1, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then to the l- left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So dito. This is at 2. So, hindi ito ellipse, ha? Kasi sa ellipse, this is covertex 1, covertex 2. Pero hindi ellipse to hyperbola. Let's draw the auxiliary rectangle. I'm going to change color for the auxiliary. So, yung intersection nito, nandito. Kita ba yung auxiliary yung rectangle? So, this is your rectangle. Patama doon sa negative 2. And then... At one. Okay. And then, let's draw the asymptotes. So, in corner, draw the asymptotes. Ah, sorry. Anong nga ito? Ah, uh, ganito ang itsura natin. Tandaan nyo, ganito itsura ng ano natin ha? Nung hyperbola. So, let's draw the Tama sa corner. Sure. Corner. Sabi na din. Yan. Yan. Okay. So, after drawing the asymptotes, let's now draw the actual hyperbola. <laughs> Hindi pa din na drawing hyperbola natin. So, let's draw the hyperbola. 
Palakan ko lang yung brush size. Yan. Let's draw the hyperbola. Using the vertex and the or as your asymptotes as the guide. Guides. So, wala sa vertex. Ay, sorry. Ay, sorry. Sorry, ulitin ko na. Oh, yan. And then, sa kapilang side. Okay. And then, ganun, sa kapilang side. I'm sorry. Aha. Okay. So, yung white lang, yung hyperbola mo. Of course, hindi natin siya mag-graph kung hindi natin kukuhanin yung ibang parts. But anyway, so now, after sketching the graph of our hyperbola, let's locate the vital points na pinapahanap sa atin. Let's start with, oh, we're done with the center. Let's get the um, location of the vertices. So, vertex 1, I think I can write here. Parang ka na lang tong part na to. So, let's locate the first vertex. Vertex 1. Vertex 1 is at 814. 814. Vertex 2 is at What's this? 8, negative 2. And then, um, center. We're done with the center. Focus. We're not yet... Uh, we haven't located the focus. Focus is 10 units up and down also from the center. So, kung 10 units tayo, so we will uh, have 16 here. This is 14 and then this is 16. So, this is your focus 1. And then, focus 2 is 10 units. We will uh, we'll end up at negative Four. focus number 2 so focus 1 is at 8 16 so if you notice vertex focus is 2 units away from each other focus 2 is at 8 uh, negative 4 okay, so this is negative 4 and then so we're done with the center, the foci, the vertices, asymptotes of the hyperbola. The first asymptote is this one. This one, first asymptote. Uh, uh, tandaan nyo dito, ano yung nag-rise tsaka nag-run. Ang tinatandaan ko dito yung, hype, yung slope ng ating uh, asymptotes kapag ang axis mo ay horizontal, it's B over A. Kapag ang axis mo ay vertical, it's A over B. Kasi, ay yung slope ang pinag-usapan natin, no? So, from this point, uh, sorry, from this point, going to this point, you will uh, rise A units, tama? You will rise A units, and then, you will run B units going to this, so that you could get the slope of this line. So, from the center, it's um, A units upward and then B units. So, it's A over B. Kasi kapag pahiga yan, kapag pahiga yung graph mo, um, equation, tama, asymptote. So, magre-rise ka ng B, tama. You will rise B and then run A. So, for this, uh, equation natin is uh, y minus k. So, just write it first. y minus k equals uh, plus minus a over b x minus h. So, the equation of the, uh, the equations of the asymptotes, therefore, are y minus k. What's our k? Uh, your k is 6. So, y minus 6 equals a. What's your a? Your a is 8 plus minus 8 over 6. Your b is 6. You have x minus your h is 8. There's your h and this is your k. So, pwede pag-iwalin yan. You have y minus 6 equals 
let's get the positive first. This is 4 over 3. 4 over 3, x minus 8. And the other one is y minus 6 equals negative 4 over 3, x minus 8. Ito yung positive, this one, ito yung positive. I label na, this is line 1, line 2. Asymptote 1, asymptote 2. So, ito yung line 1, and this is line number 2. Yan. Kung wala namang form na pinapara puntahan o pinapasimplify sa kung ano man form o pinapasulat yung form ng line, pwede na to. Yan. Kung wala namang line na sinabi kung slope intercept ba or general form or standard form pa. So, pwede na to. And, uh, saan pa ba? Yan. I think we're done.